Wir bleiben jetzt nicht nur in Hamburg, sondern wir haben es ja am Anfang schon angedeutet. Wir haben was Großes vor. Wir bewegen uns jetzt in eine Region, in der es jetzt schon Freitag ist, Freitagmorgen, 5 Uhr. Da müsste es noch dunkel sein. Wir versuchen eine Live-Schalte zu den Fidschi-Inseln. Und dort begrüße ich den 24-jährigen Klimaforscher. Er ist Klimabotschafter auf den Fidschi-Inseln, Nick Prassert. Nick, can you hear me? Hello, yeah, I can hear you. Can oh, you hear me? Greetings to the South Pacific from Hamburg, from Germany. How is the weather? Oh, the weather is pretty bad over here. It's actually raining and the internet is pretty bad, so I can't even turn on my video right now. Apologies for that. Ah, but, but we have some, some pictures um, we can uh, show you um, and uh, we can hear you. That's most important. How do the people in Fiji and the Fiji Islands experience the climate change today? Oh, the situation in Fiji and our neighboring Pacific Island countries is already very evident and is seen or heard all over the news every day. But our islands are no doubt sinking because of sea level rise and our marine resources and our continue sorry and our marine resources are continually depleting. These negative indicators are strongly induced by climate change and human impacts that only instigate further to this problem. So I feel like the situation in Fiji and our Pacific Island countries are pretty bad right now in terms of oceans. Mm -hmm. What do you think? How can the South Pacific, how can the islands in the South Pacific survive the climate change? Nick, one second, uh, I, I, I hear you, you uh, I guess it's the same to you. We have heard uh, other persons in our line. So can you hear me? Clear and yeah, loud? Yeah, sure, I can hear you. Uh, great. It's, it's so, perfectly fine. So, um, uh, um, I repeat the question. Uh, how can, can the islands in the South Pacific survive the climate change, and especially the sea level rise? Um, again, like by my individual opinion, in line with the research aspirations and experiences at several platforms, I believe there needs to be a call of sense of ambition and commitment from all countries, especially those that have been culprits and caused the problems my home island faces today all in the name of economic development. So as the name itself suggests in the UN Decade for Ocean Science for Sustainable Development, I believe with the youth researcher perspective that there needs to be more support and capacity fostered in the areas of climate ocean science, especially in the South Pacific region where these problems are most evident as you've mentioned about sea level rise and so did I. So however, because of several constraints, research output is limited. So inducting science and research support in small island developing states will help the scientific community tell our story to the world through science and research. So I believe this is one of those ways by which we could actually do that. Okay, I understand. So we, we see a picture of you on the left side with uh, Greta Thunberg in the middle. And um, uh, Nick, um, I wish you all the best uh, uh, and um, good luck for your efforts in the future and uh, during the whole uh, UN decade for the oceans. Thank you for your time and uh, greetings you so uh, to Thanks the Pacific. To